Let's talk about the stance a little bit. So the difficulty for a beginner is to make this board go, you're going to have to get to the centre of the board, which means your pop-up is more difficult if you were riding a shortboard. When I pop up, obviously I've only got to get up this kind of part of the board. So I'm already in position, or I'm on the tail. It's a totally different type of surfing. But to make this board project forward and enable you to ride it and control speed and balance, you're gonna to have to get your body weight to the center and both feet to the center, because your body weight is gonna be between your feet. So the challenge is to that you as a beginner actually have to get further than more advanced surface when you pop up. So you slide forward and up. Now, if you don't manage to nail it, the best thing to do is not to try and change when you're up there, okay? You can't change it, it's too late. Let go, go into the position, make the nice shape, and then shuffle forward until that you get your body weight in the center of the board and then you can start to control it. It'll be nice if we can nail that first time. It can depend on your flexibility on that day, how much stretching you've done, maybe you haven't done enough. And the good thing about the back foot, front foot, I've always done front foot, back foot. Actually, I would say with my pop-up, I come in pretty even, I slide in and they come and hit the deck at the same time feet on, hands off. So with the pop-up and with the the one, two, three, which is back foot, front foot, once you've got your feet on, let go, push your knees out, come into position. The advantage of back foot, front foot is that you can kind of walk up the board. So you can bring your fat back foot further up, still takes flexibility, of course, slide in, let go. And that allows you to be more in the center of that board where you need to be to make this board glide. Now, I've been an advocate over the years of, not that I'm super rigid about how you should get up, not at all, in fact, I think it's much better that people get up with an alternative method, method even like the knee method, if that's what they can manage at that time, maybe for their fitness, their, their flexibility. And I don't think that you should say that you're never going to be a surfer even if that just involves riding small white water and green waves and maybe you never go beyond that that doesn't matter you can still get a huge amount of enjoyment out of surfing anyway i digress going back to that back foot front foot i watched a tutorial on youtube here that the guy was going oh you you should go back foot front foot and then he showed some footage of mick fannin which really surprised me of mick fannin really doing back foot, front foot in, in, these, in these waves that he was having. Mick Fannin's one of the best surfers that's ever lived, three-time world champion, can surf radically hollow waves with steep drops, no problem, and he does back foot, front foot. So that obviously works for him. I think with all the techniques, you have to experiment a bit and see what works for you, okay? So we've got the front sliding in, leading with the front foot, which is that's what I do. Up I go into position, back foot, front foot, back foot, front foot, let go. With both methods, feet on, hands off. Feet on, hands off and in, into position. 